with hormone replacement therapy, what, what, my, what I try to, to, to tell the patient and get across is that the best therapy is, is what's going to alleviate your symptoms. And the best test for whether the therapy, what dose of therapy you, you need or what therapy you need is does this alleviate your symptoms? And we try to use the lowest dose of therapy that's going to alleviate your symptoms. And how that, what, what particular uh, combination of hormone therapy that we use also de is very patient dependent. A uh, patient that, um, generally most patients will need an estrogen and a progesterone. You can't give estrogen alone because it can promote overgrowth of the lining of the uterus and potentially increase the risk of endometrial cancer. If someone's had a hysterectomy though, they can just take estrogen alone. They do not need progesterone and shouldn't take progesterone. Because um, progesterone is actually the, 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 of the two hormones, estrogen and progesterone, as progesterone probably has, creates more of a risk of breast cancer than, than estrogen actually. Um, and the way that the estrogen is given or a hormone therapy is given, whether it's giving orally or giving transdermally is also very patient dependent too, um, depending on what the patient's symptoms are.